penulis juga dan public speaker tentunya sudah tidak diragukan lagi karir beliau seperti apa dan sudah tidak sabar saya ingin mendengar suaranya boleh oke okay. kok yang deg-degan kayaknya saya ya tapi ternyata Mas Rene dan Yasmin ini juga deg-degan loh berbicara dengan para pembaca ini sudah ada yang baca bukunya sudah bagus sekali Bu luar biasa ya ternyata menginspirasi bisa lintas benua juga ya Bu ya dan senang juga Bizan menghadirkan Yasmin ke Indonesia hanya untuk bertatap muka dengan kita ya ternyata dari Mizan kepengen tahu nih yang udah baca seperti apa kesannya udah baca belum mbak sudah baca sudah bagaimana menurut ibu uh, karena saya baca bahasa Inggrisnya itu menyentuh sekali inspiratif ya dan uh, membuat kita jadi refleksi terhadap apa yang kita alami dalam kehidupan kita sehari-hari sih iya iya sehari-hari bagi saya uh, banyak banyak dari kita mengalami hal-hal sederhana itu yang kemudian membuat kita apa mentalnya down gitu dan ketika baca itu ternyata saya baca itu terus oh banyak ya yang ngalami dan mungkin Yasmin juga merefleksikan ini terima kasih oh oke okay. mau ditambahkan bagaimana mbak uh, jadi relate sama kehidupan kita tapi dengan pendekatan psikologis Islam dan aku alhamdulillah udah sering sih datang ke Yasmin Mujahid uh, Wah, dia paling dekat ke Malaysia uh, tahun lalu aku ke Malaysia di front row iya <laughs> uh, yeah, dan itu enak uh, uh, apa ya simple tapi ngena berkesan banget uh. ternyata Yasmin ini reclaim your heart benar-benar reclaim your heart dua buku dua-duanya sudah baca luar biasa ini baru benar-benar pembaca dari Yasmin dan kalau misalnya saya mau tanya lagi sih sebelah sini ada nggak ya yang sudah baca sudah belum baru baca <laughs> oke okay. saya pengen tahu yang belum baca deh yang datang ke sini karena pengen tahu Yasmin itu seperti apa ada ada ibu sudah baca Oh, Oke, okay. saya pengen tahu nih kalau misalnya yang belum baca sebenarnya apa motivasi datang ke sini untuk ketemu Yasmin. Saya ingin mendengar uh, bagaimana kisah perjalanan spiritual dan juga uh, perjalanan kesuksesan seorang sehingga dia bisa menjadi seorang public figure. Sementara dalam buku-bukunya itu dia mengatakan banyak sekali kegagalan-kegagalan gitu sampai dia berhasil. Terima kasih. Ternyata Yasmin di sini hadir untuk memberi semangat semua wanita yang ada di sini ya. Selain hanya sekadar merayakan ulang tahunnya Mizan ke-35, tapi Yasmin ini juga memberikan inspirasi untuk para wanita Indonesia pastinya. Saya jadi penasaran, saya sesungguhnya belum baca loh ini bukunya dan saya tadi baru seperti Mbak yang di depan baru ngintip ya. Ternyata bukunya ini bagus uh, secara biografinya secara saya baru baca depannya aja udah bagus gitu jadi memang uh, Yasmin ini sangat dekat dengan kehidupan wanita bagaimana perjuangan-perjuangannya dia melawan getir-getir ya getir-getir kehidupan itu sangat baik untuk kita pelajari gitu. bersama Mas Rene Suhardono silakan Mas Assalamualaikum. How's everyone? It's exciting to be in Indonesia for the first time. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> um, for for the last, gosh, I can't. I don't even know. Five, six years. Every time I would post that I was going anywhere, I would have about maybe 50% of the comments. When are you coming to Indonesia? So 
So alhamdulillah, we are here. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي. It is my pleasure to be here with you. الحمد لله I've had the opportunity to meet with many of you. I've had the opportunity to be able to have the availability of both my books uh, for the first time in the English language, alhamdulillah, we have uh, both Reclaim Your Heart. I noticed, alhamdulillah, the, uh, the translation uh, is a different cover, uh, but this is the original Reclaim Your Heart in English, and uh, this, this book is something that uh, it's not very easy always to have accessible in the language that it was written in. And alhamdulillah, I had the opportunity to put this book together after almost a decade of work. So Reclaim Your Heart is something that I did not, you know, one time I sat in front of a computer, but this is something that was my journey for over a decade. Yes, and um, as well, uh, we have Love and Happiness, this is the also, alhamdulillah, they talked about, uh, as well, we have, alhamdulillah, both, both copies. Love and Happiness uh, is also something that I came out with recently, and I, inshallah, will talk a little bit later about what inspired both of these books, but I feel privileged that I'm able to come and share, because I think many of us, we go through different experiences in our lives, and even though we have different backgrounds, we have different cultures, we have different languages, but there's something that we share. There's an experience that many of us share, and I try to share that experience in these books. So, alhamdulillah, I, I, you know, today's topic is called Reclaim Your Heart, because this book is something that I put together from a lot of experience uh, and a lot of lessons that I learned in my life. And it was a long journey. And so what I want to do, inshallah, is share with you what inspired and, and, and what drove this writing and why it is that, that it's something I hope to share. So Reclaim Your Heart is a concept that comes from the idea that every human being has sort of a powerhouse inside of them. And that powerhouse is the heart. The heart is what leads the human being. The heart is what is, is, is the part that, that the Prophet ﷺ spoke about when he said, Inna fil jasadi mudra. Indeed, in the body, there's a lump of flesh. And if it is set right, إِذَا صَلَحَتْ صَلَحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ If it's set right, then the entire body will be set right. وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ And if it is corrupted, فَسَدَ الْجَسُدُ كُلُّ The entire body will be corrupted. أَلَا وَهِيَ الْقَلْبِ Indeed, it's the heart. So what we're learning from this hadith is that when you change the heart, you change the whole body. What does it mean? It means that when you change the heart, you change the entire life, the, the actions of the human being. Because the heart is actually what leads the person. And so whatever owns the heart, owns that person. Whatever is in the deepest part of the heart is going to be your master. It's gonna be what leads you in your life. It's gonna be what you, what you why you live your life. And so reclaiming your heart is about taking your heart back and giving it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah is the only one who is the rightful owner of the heart. So how do we do this? So this is the thing is that we live in a world that's not easy. Dunya is imperfect. Dunya is an existence that isn't permanent and it isn't perfect. And so it becomes difficult sometimes. How can we continue to live in this life without allowing this life to 
to own us. There is a really beautiful metaphor that one of the scholars explained. And he said that this life, dunya, is like an ocean. And that our hearts are like boats or ships inside of that ocean. So what happens to a person who allows the ocean, what happens to, to a boat when the ocean enters the boat? What happened to the Titanic? What is it that destroyed the Titanic? The Titanic was destroyed because it allowed the ocean to enter. As we know, there, is the, there was um, damage that was done to the Titanic, and as a, as a result of that damage, water went inside the boat. And as soon as water goes inside of a boat, that's when the boat becomes at the mercy of the ocean. That's when the boat breaks, and that's when the boat sinks. So what happens when our hearts allow dunya to enter? The same thing happens is when our hearts allow dunya to enter, our hearts also become owned by dunya. And our hearts become broken by dunya. And our hearts can sink. And so what this metaphor teaches us is that we have to be in this life without allowing this life to own us. We have to go through this life but not get lost in this life, just like the ocean. You can't get lost in the ocean. You have to use it, but you cannot allow it to own you. And so how is it that we can live our lives in this way? How is it that we can take our hearts back from dunya and give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That is what Reclaim Your Heart is about. 